Hey everyone, I got a whole bunch of new Masters of the Universe figures, so I'm going to unbox them all. So first up here is a uh, Mantena. Let's pop him open. This will be kind of hard because I'm only using one hand. Ah. Oops, other stuff falling down there. Actually, you know what, before I open it all the way, let's take a look at the figure. Love the face. Based on the classic toy, not so much on the uh, version in the show. They did give him four legs, like in the show, though, so that's a nice little touch and update to the original figure. It includes comic. Ah. I think I'm gonna mess the comic up if I. Ah. Okay. Oh, I think I already have this anyway, so no big loss. Okay, let's get him out of there. There it goes. Oh, let's take a look at the artwork on the back there. There is him using his stop beam, a couple of snake men, tongue lashor and ratlor there. Got King Hiss in the back, uh, Hordak and Grizzlor there. Ah. Alright, there, finally got him out. That looks cool. Okay, so, oh, I hate these things. Well, I'm going to pause, and then uh, he'll magically be out. And he's out now. That was a big pain. I hate those things. Okay, so this is a really nice-feeling figure. Let's see, he got some really nice articulation. Uh, let's see. It's got, like, the standard arm articulation there. Let's see. Oh, and his head can swivel around. That's something the old toy couldn't do. Let's see if the, uh, how the thing works. Uh, oh, cool, he still does that. Oh, and they're on springs. <laughs> Alright, and, uh, four legs. Let's see, I believe each leg has its own... Like, uh, articulation, this one, is it, like, on a swivel or something? Okay, it's on a joint. Okay, all the legs are on joints. Kind of looks silly from the back with that thing in his head. Oh, you can kind of lock it in. So, let's see. Doesn't really do a whole lot. You can push that little lever down and it stays down so his eyes are bucked out a, like a little bit, but eh. yeah, not a whole lot. But yeah, anyway, really cool looking figure. Let's see, he's got this weird little crossbow thing. Okay, apparently he's just supposed to hold it somehow. Like you clip it onto uh, his wrist or something. I don't quite, I don't know. I'm probably not even going to have him posed with that thing. It doesn't look, really look like it. I liked Mantena in the show, so that's kind of... Uh, I mean, this isn't very representative of him in the show. The toy looked nothing like him in the show. So, eh, I don't know. It's a, it's a decent fusion, though. I like it. So moving on, uh, here we got Stratos from the CGI series. Still haven't seen much of it. I did see the first episode, and... I do like Stratos, he does stand out, so, yeah, I'm just gonna skip right to him being open. And there he is opened. Really, really cool looking. The sculpting on this is great. Let's see. Head's kinda, eh, stiff on there. I have to, eh, fiddle around with him a bit to get his head to move properly. Let's see, I like the effect on the wings, that translucent, and yellow is certainly a strange choice for Stratos, but I think it works. Seems like light blue would have gone better with his color scheme overall. Anyway, like the other uh, CGI power attack figures, or whatever these are called, articulation is, uh, it's not the best, it's okay. Really leaves a lot to be desired. I don't know what this weird rubber chest thing is all about. They all have that. I don't know why they need it. Oh, well, anyway. 
representative of Stratos. It looks pretty good. It'll look good on the shelf. You know, he also reminds me a little of Flipshot from uh, New Adventures of He-Man. Okay, next up is uh, Clawful. Okay, now Clawful's out of his stupid box. It was very hard to undo all the dumb little plastic thingies, but... Okay, let's see how the claw works. Oh, that looks nice. It's, I don't know, it doesn't feel quite as good as the original figure. I have the original clawful, and... I don't know, I like the way the claw on him feels. This one just feels kind of loose. The other one's, like, a lot stiffer. Anyway, uh, decent sculpting, articulation, it's like the recycled body, he's... One of the things that's interesting with the Clawful figure is they did the same bizarre choice that the original figure did, and he has this, like, human body, but then he has, like, a lobster claw, this armor, one claw here that just abruptly stops, and then he's human again, and then he has, like, the, the dragon face. It looks like a, like a luchador mask or something. Still, he is a cool character, I just kind of like the 2002 series, and how they just made him an entire, like, lizard person, instead of this whatever exactly he's supposed to be. I honestly don't know, is he supposed to be a guy, like, in a suit or something? Oh, also, let's take a look at the artwork on the back there. There's Tila fighting Clawful with Whiplash in the back there. Um, let's see. Work lever, make claw grab, press mace into other claw. Yeah, I noticed this thing doesn't really want to stay there too well. Ah, come on, get in there. Eh, it kind of works, but it falls out really easy. So, yeah, not going to be holding this bizarre looking weapon anytime soon. Or Yeah, there probably should have been like some little holster or something to hang this when he's like not using it. Oh, well, whatever. Moving on, next up is, a uh, Mosquitra. Really cool-looking, uh, figure. I remember when I watched the trailer, I was, like, going through it frame by frame, and I saw, oh, who's this? Is this, like, a new version of Mosquitor? And, uh, yeah. Oh, and there we get awesome evil villain grin there. Uh, so, yeah, let's open this one up. And now she's opened. She came with this thing, which I think goes over her head. So, you can have a big dumb red head like the, uh, like Origins Mosquito figure. It doesn't seem to stay on too well, just as well. I don't really care for it, so she's just gonna look like this. I like the design. It's a cool design. Okay, I was not expecting her arm, like, her shoulder pads to be hindered by this furry thing on the back. Let's see. Oh, I like the wings. They remind me of the sorceress wings. That shiny purple with, like, some glitter in there. Looks nice. I like that they can fold behind her. That's cool. Hmm. Maybe this should have been, like, actual, like, f fur or something. Because it really hinders her arms. She can't really move them a whole lot. Head moves okay. Can't really make out her face. Ah. The camera doesn't want to focus. It just keeps focusing on my hand. Okay, it's... I guess the camera doesn't want to look at her mouth. Whatever. Uh, oh, I love all the little details on her. It's so cool. Okay, and finally is uh, this guy, Koldar. He was from, like, an actual episode of the old Filmation show. I haven't watched it in a long time. I remember this guy, but only vaguely. So, yeah, let's pop this guy open. Oh, okay, I didn't know he was actually gonna come, like, in a box. Like, in just, like, a standard box. Oh, with really cool artwork on the back. Well, now I want to be careful so I don't damage this. Like, the other ones I haven't really been being as careful with. 
Okay, uh, I... These guys look familiar. I don't know off the top of my head who they are. Hmm. Are they other, like, Filmation-exclusive characters or something? Okay, well, uh, oh, cool. There's a little picture of him up in the corner there. He's got his own comic in the back there. So, yeah, let's open this guy up. Okay, and he's finally out of the freaking box. Jeez, I couldn't even get the plastic all the way off. There was, like, a couple, like, layers of it, and this thing was right up against the edge. The side of this comic got a little cut when I was trying to cut the plastic off and be careful, and even then, I couldn't, like, help but, like, there's a little dense now in the side... If they want to, like, make these for collectors, they have to figure out a better way to package these. Because, holy crap, this guy was not packaged well. Okay, move these other figures out of the way. And here we got Koldar, looking really cool. And I'm sure even though this was an expensive collector-exclusive figure, yeah, it still has stupid freaking rubber bands and crap holding them in. Oh, and these wonderful little plastic things I hate so much. So, yeah, pause again to get him out of all this garbage. Okay, and I finally got him out. It was way too overpackaged for a collector figure, but, yep, here we go. Here's Koldar, looking really cool. And from what I remember, this is pretty accurate to the cartoon. Let's see. Let's try and straighten his legs up a little bit. There we go. Looks pretty good. The articulation looks to be about... Oh, and there's still that stupid crap all over him. Why, Mattel? Gee, he's in this big cardboard box. This is the only way he's shipped out. And he's in, like, his own box. His own, like, over-packaged thing with all this crap still stuck to it. Uh, duh. Mattel! Why? Whatever. And then, oh, his weapons have tape all over and it's stuck to him. Anyway, he's got a little thing. He's got an axe and a sword. I think that's it. Oh, and a little comic book there. So anyway, uh, yeah. Pretty decent haul of uh, He-Man figures. Looking forward to displaying these on the shelf and in Skull. This will be really cool. Got a bunch of new doohickey weapons and accessories I'm probably not going to be doing anything with. I can definitely see why this kind of stuff goes missing. Anyway, uh, yeah, here's a bunch of the He-Man guys I got. Hope you enjoyed this. See ya.